Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So the crypto market is still climbing out of the dumps. Uh, market cap right here at 276 billion now. Uh, XRP slowly moving its way upward. And if we look at BTC, guys, this is on the hourly. You can see it's doing the same thing over the last uh, few hours. We uh, are starting to see some steady movement upward uh, right here. Early morning, it says 3 a.m. Uh, that would be Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we saw a significant move up. Same with XRP. If you look here, same hour. So pretty much uh, everything's looking to be moving in the same direction. But guys, today we've got a bearable guy video for you. And so if you do not like bearable guy, now's the time to turn off the video. CKJ reported on this yesterday and a huge shout out to Sophia123, that's at X-I-E-P-J-E -E on Twitter. So CKJ covered a little bit of this, uh, but Sophia is um, really on top of it. Now, if you guys haven't seen, Bearable Guy did change his background pick. Guys, I'm gonna try to go through this uh, fairly quickly because I know a lot of you guys know this already. So. The month of May, a huge month, and uh, Bearable Guy posted this on his Twitter uh, about 12 hours ago. And this original calendar, guys, was back from a clue in December. So for those of you guys who have always doubted Bearable Guy and think he's a fraud, I think you should be eating your humble pie right now because, hello, there was a giant blazing sun pointing to May, people. And as we know, May had some huge announcements, huge, significant movement in the cryptocurrency space. So on top of what he had already written, what he had coded into the wall from previous background picks, there was Fidelity, Visa, some of these turned out to be tiny URLs that would link us to uh, different images, like this one I believe was the glass book of cryptocurrency regulations. Uh, we also had the Coinbase announcement in May, the Visa Earth port finalization, Blue Zell, which I don't know what that is, Fidelity, which was also mentioned in here, Robinhood on May 23rd, and I jump over there because this was something that I didn't cover and uh, I didn't hear a lot about it on YouTube, Robinhood opens trading for seven cryptocurrencies currencies in New York. So that's big progress in New York state. So what else do we have here? So Sophia, uh, where is it now? She has so many images here decoding a lot of this. So we also have, uh, so, okay. So on the original image, I don't even see the full thing, uh, because my image gets cut off here, but if you can see Sophia has actually downloaded the image and, uh, you can see down here too, there's SNB, BNS, uh, also Pat Thalen. We heard that announcement. I did a video on that. XRPL Labs, which was the sign, which uh, I did a video on a couple days ago. More news in the crypto space. And again, guys, this has all happened in May. Tiny URL here that brings us to this image, and it's a sun. And as you guys can see, one, two, three, four, five, then it starts again, eight, and then it starts again to nine. And so Sophia123 has decoded that to 589. Guys, we're still on track for 589. And 589 doesn't just mean one thing, I think. There are multiple meanings behind that. Some of these other tiny URLs are pointing to uh, these articles here. So Egypt Lifts Ban will allow licensed cryptocurrency companies. Huge move in the crypto space. And this here, the G20I's Registry for Cryptocurrency Exchanges, I covered that a couple of days ago. Okay, guys, I'll link all these articles in the description if you want to read them further. Let's go back here to uh, Sophia. Where was it now? I think she had an image. No, what was it? Uh, where was it? I think it was, okay, so th these ones go into further detail, but it wasn't this one. It was this one here. So the moon dates explained. So one, two, three, uh, the waxing quarter, full moon and young moon. Uh, have we finished the cycle? Down here, she mentions uh, the first waxing quarter, which is to be expected. Number two after that first moon from now and number three and after that the first young moon falls on the 2nd of July. So the first moon June 10th, the second face June 17th and the third July 2nd. So very interesting information. We've got a lot of uh, intelligent people here in the crypto space and even more specifically in the bearable guy sector of the crypto space. So guys, I will link Sophia's uh, posts, her tweets in the description if you want to continue to read further. Now, this here, I um, it looks as if she still hasn't decoded this, but I uh, believe I came up with that one. That was the Claro 2019, so the tiny URL slash Claro 2019, which brings us to this, the clear book. Regulations, crypto regulations are becoming clearer. So for those of you guys who didn't catch that video that I did, uh, that would be that. 
Also, guys, Bearable Guy has now shut his eyes, and it's looking as if maybe he won't be seen for the next little while. Maybe nothing too much happening in June, uh, and uh, I guess we just have to keep tabs on his Twitter to find out if anything else is going to happen. One last thing I wanted to mention about this is uh, these numbers here. Now, I know a lot of people are trying to decode uh, this Korean text, and some are coming out with uh, numbers and, uh, you know, trying to add some of these together. I reached out to a friend of mine in Korea. Yes, I know somebody in South Korea. And uh, they told me this. Uh, this was from a message that I had sent them over Facebook. It is Korean, but it doesn't really mean anything. Just numbers written in words. Well, they don't know that I'm trying to decode a bearable guy riddle. <laughs> and even the spellings are wrong. One, it isn't a word. 16351955. 15, 11, 18, in order from left to right. So not right to left, left to right. That's what I got from them. Uh, maybe you could throw that into the mix. See what you get. Anyways, guys, I love these Bearable Guy riddles. Uh, and this ultimately just pointing to the fact that Bearable Guy did know what was going on in May 2019. It wasn't a wild guess. I think he certainly wants us to hodl. Uh, and, you know, considering the price has gone up significantly since the beginning of the month, I think we're in a good space, guys, and I seriously do think there's even more great news to come. Anyways, that's just my opinion, but I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.